Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, do you notice I got a little Grizzly Adams thing starting here with a beard? Like that kind of, but I'm going to a wedding tomorrow, so who knows if my wife will make me trim it down a little bit. But anyway, today we're going to talk about new NFL rules for 2021. At least most of them. One of them is like just an add-on to an already existing rule. So uh, anyway, uh, the first rule is uh, a no-brainer. Uh, they have eliminated, well, you know, because they're adding another game. So there's going to be 17 games in the season now, 17 regular season games. And because they did that, they knocked back the preseason games from four to three. Now, in the preseason games, the rule for 2021 will be no overtime. I mean, that really, I don't, that should have been a no-brainer. That should have been a, the rule, like, even before. But, but yeah, they, they've eliminated overtime for preseason games because who cares? So, then the next rule, now this is, the, this is probably the biggest rule that they, that is the biggest rule change for 2021 and going forward until they decide to change it again. And that is ex establishing the max number of players in the setup zone uh, during a free kick or a kickoff. The setup zone is the space of five yards, a space of five yards that is 10 yards from where the ball is kicked. Um, but anyway, I mean, you get the idea. They, you know, they had to s separate by 10 yards, and then there was like a five-yard, um, uh, five-yard zone uh, beyond that on the receiving team's end where they could set players. Now, previously, the rule was that there, the um, that eight was the minimum amount of players in the receive that the receiving team could have in the setup zone. But there was no maximum, and now the maximum is set at nine, meaning they can only put nine players now maximum in that zone, and two have to be outside of it. So in other words, under the new rule, this alignment is now illegal. The uh, two players in the back that are right on the 50 need to now be back at the 40. So, uh, yeah. So that was the, that's probably the biggest one. Now, another one that they have is, um, another pretty big one is that the replay officials can now provide certain objective information to on-field referees without the need of a challenge. And this can happen on possession of the ball, complete or incomplete passes, touching of uh a loose ball, boundary line, goal line, or end line, and down by contact. Now, most notably, what does not change here is that the replay officials up in the booth cannot provide input to the referee that's unsolicited on when players get blown up. Like, you know, they get hit and um, inter basically interference, like happened with the Saints and the Rams uh, uh, two or three years ago. Say what? In the playoffs. That, the if they miss, if the refs on the field miss that, this rule doesn't help that. The replay official can't um, provide input, which is really stupid because that's actually the one thing that people would like to see this rule change. But it doesn't. I mean, most of this other stuff is, it's like, you know, it's chicken feed. Who cares, you know? I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. But what do you guys think? Let me know. So anyway, uh, another one is that they uh, they have added a, a loss of down to the already five-yard penalty for two forward passes on the same play. Again... Not very consequential because how many times do you see a team do two forward passes on the same play? I I don't see it very often. I watch a lot of football and I don't see it very often. But anyway, 
So yeah, now there's a there's a loss of down. Before it was just a five yard penalty, which was pretty stupid. Um, and of course now, kind of a light-hearted rule change is that they NFL has now allowed different number a slightly different numbering system for players. Uh, there are new legal numbers for certain positions. And uh, those numbers are, well, I mean, in some cases. But anyway, here's all the legal numbers now for each position. Quarterbacks, 1 to 19, which is, I don't think, changed. Running backs, 1 to 49 or 80 to 89. Tight ends, 1 to 49 or 80 to 89. Wide receivers, 1 to 49 or 80 to 89. Offensive linemen, 50 to 79. Defensive linemen, 50 to 79 or 90 to 99. Linebackers, 1 to 59 or 90 to 99. And defensive backs, 1 to 49. Now, the biggest change here that I'm noticing is like linebackers could now be number two. Defensive backs can be, you know, number two, number three. I mean, I think that's the biggest change I'm noticing. Now, n most notably here for 2021, any player that wants to change their number has to buy out all of the existing stock of their jersey to do that. So that could be, it could be an expensive number that you're taking on. But that's just for 2021. If they want to do this in 2022, change their number in 2022, they don't have to. I don't know what the thinking behind that. I mean, I know what the thinking behind making them buy out the existing stock for 2021 is, is that you don't want people, you know, going and, and seeing that, like, uh, you know, well, no, this is a bad example. This is a running back. But anyway, you don't want, like, uh, like Erlocker was number 54. And so if Erlocker had wanted to change his number to, like, six, you don't want people, you know, you don't want these, you know, outlets, stores and things stuck with number 54 Urlacher jerseys that now nobody would buy because he's number six. Okay, I get that. But then why would you not make that the rule going forward too? Like, then, then what? You know? Retailers have to be like, oh, I don't know how many jerseys we really should make of Brian Urlacher because he could change his number. Whereas in the first year, he had to buy out all the stock. I don't know. I don't get it. But anyway, that's the rule. So, um, so that, that basically, that's the rules. The rule changes for the NFL in uh, 2021. And I want to remind everybody that the... The draft is coming up next Thursday, next Thursday from the taping of this video. It's coming up next Thursday, the 29th at 8 p.m. So I'll be on that. Of course, the Bears don't pick until like number 20. I think it's like number 20. So they're not getting anybody good. Well, I mean, maybe. They might get somebody good at some position, but they're not going to get like one of those eight quarter. There's like eight quarterbacks that are highly sought after. And there is a few like multi, uh, you know, like there's a guy for Florida or something. that's like some kind of crazy good tight end slash wide receiver slash slot guy, whatever. But anyway, you know, they're not going to get one of the premier offensive talents is what I'm saying. Um, but we'll see what they do. I mean, really, they should invest in, like, their offensive line so that they can protect Carrot Top when he goes back to pass next year. But anyway, um, I digress because that's getting off the subject of the rule changes. So let me know what you guys think about the rule changes. Do you like any of them? I mean, most of them are in, in my opinion, most of them are just, bleh, eh, whatever. But, um, you know, if there's some that you really feel um, strongly about, let me know uh, one way or the other. You really like them, you think, you know, or you don't like them. Is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Every
everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. May God have mercy on your soul. Like, for me, that rule about the replay officials helping the officials on the field, I would have really liked it if they could tell the, the officials on the field, hey, that was pass interference. I don't know how you missed it. But no, they can't do that anymore. I mean, they still can't do that. So let me know what you think. But um, leave a comment below, a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hey, subscribe, man. Subscribe. Just do it. And uh, for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, signing off.